Hi handsome and welcome to my 26th video, as well as the third episode of the Iron Pan Challenge. The challenge where our goal is to make 2 million of every meal in BDO without using the central market. I know that in the last episode I kind of promised that we will continue with our journey towards the special Dragonese meal, however, we are facing complications. Complications in the form of our crops not growing fast enough. I have still not managed to get all the pepper and all the hot pepper to finish my llama cheese mount. Since I will need hot pepper for the marmot meat as well, and the other recipes for the special Dragonese meal require another crop, this time being garlic, with the final recipe needed being tied to cooking honey, the boogeyman of this entire challenge, I have decided to take a vacation in a different region. My search for the vacation spot took me to Kamasylvia, whose meal is relatively easy to prepare, with only one food being basically impossible to make enough of this soon into the challenge. And well, I may have gone out looking for copper, but I did definitely find gold. Or rather, silver. I found a lot of silver. You might already know what I'm talking about because you've probably seen the thumbnail. The one big bottleneck of Kamasylvia meal outside of the coconut pasta are the rainbow button mushrooms. For the sake of the challenge, I only needed a measly 360,000 of them. There are two ways to obtain these mushrooms. They do have physical spawns in several places across Polis Forest, and this is by far the better mushroom per hour strategy. It yields around 11,000 mushrooms without agris and around 15,000 mushrooms with agris. The other option to get these mushrooms is to actually kill the polyforest mobs and gather them with a hoe, which in case you didn't know is something that you can do, but it is much worse in terms of mushrooms per hour because you only get around 2000 per hour. I won't kick around the bush any longer. I am sorry, you got clickbaited. Kind of. Well, don't click off the video just yet. I did get the money that you can see on the thumbnail in an hour, but it was a very lucky hour which I don't see myself getting again anytime soon. I got too many games proc on Buried Traces, giving me a total of 40 mystery chests, which resulted in over 700 sharp crystals. But that doesn't mean that the money is a complete lie. This spot is really good in terms of money per hour. Even we found the kind of insane luck that I had, this spot will yield you around 1.1 to 1.2 billion silver without agris. And if you do decide to use agris, expect around 1.5 billion, which for gathering, in my opinion, is pretty insane. But I am sure you want to see the rotation, and I think that this time we are going to do it a little bit different, so I will show you live. Alright, this part of the video is going to be kind of unscripted, I'm going to go through my VOD and show you the rotation as a whole. In case you don't care about this, feel free to skip to the timestamp that I will show on the video, and you can continue watching. If you want to see the entire rotation or if you want to see more versions of it, I have been streaming this for the last like week on Twitch and you can see the exact VOD and the exact timestamp that I have used for this one. So let's go through this. It's going to run at 2 times speed. I just took fairy for like extra uh, black gems and stuff for that so I have a little bit extra money. If you only care about mushrooms, which I don't think why you should, doesn't matter. Here you want to stand on the mushroom that I'm standing on, otherwise you cannot reach the top mushroom. It will, it will uh, minimize your time spent there. The rest is fine. These three mushrooms are fine. Here the same applies. So you want to stand here again so you can reach that one. This rotation is going to be a lot of running. So get ready for that. It's not the kind of rotation where you are constantly gathering. This is more like run, run, run. And then gather. And then run and gather and run, run and gather. Right? And it's going to feel like that as a, a lot. But to be honest, I find this kind of relaxing. I find this nice. It's very laid back. I will also say this few in the future. So if you are watching this entire video, you will hear this twice. But this is extremely energy efficient. The one rotation takes like maybe 100 energy. So it, it takes me around 4 hours if I have full energy bar to get rid of all of it. Here I want to backtrack for the 5 mushrooms here. Make sure to do this. The 5 mushrooms are really big. Yeah. There is not that many mushrooms in general and they also respawn very slowly. So getting as many mushrooms per channel as you can is the best 
road to success. Here you probably want to jump on the rocks here. I usually do that. I don't know why this time I jumped over it. Maybe I'm just stupid. Also, sorry if you can hear birds in the background. And here you want to climb on this. You can do this the other way around. Climb first, then drop down. Here this is... Make sure you don't get stuck on the tree. It, it's kind of tricky. Ah, uh -huh, get it. Here I want to once again sit here so you can gather the, the, the tool down there. You want to walk between these mobs so you don't get stuck on them. You can get stuck on some of these mobs quite easily. So be careful with that. If you are worried about the mobs killing you, don't worry. I have uh, head gatherer's clothes and I'm completely fine. If you have the same, I would say that like, even if you have something lower, you should be fine. And this is very simple. You can basically see the entire rotation at this point. Yeah, you walk here between the mobs. Sometimes they don't even aggro because you still have aggro from the previous mobs. So it makes it easier. Here I just get stuck because I'm stupid once again. But yeah, from here, there are no mobs here. You don't have to worry about anything. This is very compact. Three mushrooms here. Here you do a little bit of parkour. You run, and here you have the last three mushrooms for the channel. And after this, you swap servers. And you do this rotation the other way. Again, if you want to see it, I, I'm not going to show it on, on this video because it's going to just waste time. And it's going to show the exact rotation with slight differences. You are clever enough, you will figure it out. Okay, thanks to the live me for the commentary over the footage, I hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know if you want more of my Iron Pan videos to have a similar format or features, or if it's enough for you to just put the rotation into the background footage. I am sure that you have one more question that you want to know the answer to, and it is, if this spot is such good money, how come nobody talks about it? And I think this has a very simple answer. There simply isn't enough mushrooms to support a large group of gatherers. In case you skip the live footage, just to finish a single hour of the rotation, you will need to swap servers around 8 to 9 times. With just how few mushrooms there are on every server, it will completely stop you from gathering if there is someone else doing it at the same time. It is kind of like the Delosia spots in Odilita, which were very popular for some time after Blue Squadron put out his reaction to some guy telling you to go there for charm perfumes. The more people know about it, the worse the spot is to gather in. That being said, I did find one video released relatively recently and it does support my claims about the money per hour in case you think I'm lying to you for some reason. It is one of the best gathering spots in the entire game. It does make more money than most grind spots as well, but it has enough drawbacks for people to consider it not worth the risk. It does make me excited for the future of the Iron Pen challenge though, because I really wonder how many other forgotten or even not explored places and things we will find out in the future. I already found a couple, but I am keeping them for next time. Alright handsome, that is it for today's video, I hope you liked it. Next video I will try to make and release until Sunday. I have a lot of work coming this Monday and the entire next week, so I am not sure how active I will be and it's why I am making more than one video this week. I am also considering re-uploading my first ever video on YouTube. I put out a poll and it looks like at least the majority of you are okay with me doing it. So if I don't manage to release the one promised by Sunday, you will at least get a re-upload of an old one. That is absolutely everything I have for you today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Do let me know if this was your favorite secret spot and I ruined it. And enjoy your grind.